Hey, come see us in Ashland, Virginia, Athens, Georgia, Rutherford, New Jersey at the Icarus Festival, and Minneapolis, Minnesota. Go to JimmyDoor.com for a link for tickets. So this story, oh, yeah. this story, there's an update on this story. So you've heard about this. Trump's VP contender, Christy Noem. Mm-hmm. She writes a book about killing her dog and a goat. And she says, I hated that dog. Adding that Cricket had proved herself untrainable, dangerous to anyone she came in contact with, and less than worthless as a hunting dog. At the moment, I realized I had to put her down. I mean, that is the law if they're dangerous to people. You, you, you're breaking the law if you don't. Noam also represented her state in Congress for eight years, got her gun, and then led Cricket to a gravel pit. It was not a pleasant job, she writes, but it had to be done. And after it was over, I realized another unpleasant job needed to be done. I had to go kill a goat. Is that what it was? Yes. I thought she was going to have to give a blowjob. Her family, she writes, also owned a male goat, and that was nasty and that was nasty and mean because it had not been castrated. Furthermore, the goat smelled. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so what did she do? She decided to kill the goat the same way she just killed Cricket, the dog. But thought she, but though she had dragged him to the gravel pit, the goat jumped as she shot and therefore survived the wound. Noam said she went back to her truck, retrieved another shell, and then hurried back to the gravel pit to put him down. No easy day. The Noam something story. Is this, she wrote this? Yes. Is this, um, she is belongs this like in, an analogy for what she'll do in Washington or something? I think she belongs in a scene from Miller's Crossing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what missing from American politics today. An actual hands-on trained emotionless killer. I don't think that's missing. A hit woman. Yeah, I don't think that's missing. At that point, Noam writes, she realized the construction crew had watched her. <laughs> Did she shoot them? Had watched her kill both no animals. <laughs> <laughs> That's that startled the workers, and swift the swift the startled workers swiftly got back to work, or else she's going to shoot them. I've fetched two more shells by the gravel pit. She writes, then only for a school bus to arrive and drop off her children. Oh, great! Sorry, kids. Kennedy looked around confused. Hey, where's Cricket? Ah. Oh. Oh. He was a danger to everyone. Is that the dog? Or somebody just put that? That's the dog. Oh, my God. Look at that monster. And then someone said, she killed a dog like Aldo. This is his dog. So that's the kind of dog she mm-hmm. killed. He's a German wire-haired pointer, and he's the kindest, most dedicated creature you can imagine. The governor of South Dakota claimed her dog was a bad dog. That's bullshit. Here's the thing about pointing dogs like this. All you have to do is give them exercise and expose them to birds. That's it. But you have to do it almost every day, or they go stir-crazy. Mm. What puppy killer Gnome likely did was get a dog, lock it up like a prisoner for months, dump it in a chaotic situation, and then brutally kill a young dog because it just did what a bird dog would do. Too much energy and too little time to express it. Aww. Any person that loves bird dogs has a damn hard time swallowing her story. It's reprehensible. She she was should have. Do you think she was training it to fight a goat uh, <laughs> in a gravel pit? Maybe. Uh, here she. Uh, this breed is one of my absolute favorites. Wonderful, smart, loving, loyal people who have li- lined up for this dog to be part of their family. This is so heartbreaking. I grew up on a farm. I have lived on a farm. You don't destroy a beautiful baby like that. If you can't handle them, find a loving home that can. I have a question. Why did she write about it? Uh, to show that, like, what is the lesson where I'm supposed to take away? Because look, look, I, I she hated the dog, and she wanted you to know she's killed it. Yeah, like number one, I'm. Did she write her own book? I guess so. They usually don't. Well, here this. <laughs> She tweeted out, she goes, sorry to hear about President Bush and Laura's loss of Barney. You can see our dogs are special to us, too. Yeah, except the one black except one. Except the one we, uh-huh. <laughs> or whiter dogs. She tweeted that out. We go through dogs like Snoop Dogg goes through eye drops. Come on. <laughs> Translation, why did you let me kill it? That's what she wanted. Why did you let you get, get rid of your dog? I'll kill it. So here she goes on this show. Uh, and she, she talks about this show. About it comes up again. Watch this. So here's Face the Nation lady asking the dog killer. But uh, on the on, on this point, though, because you have been rumored to be a potential vice presidential candidate, as you know, um, and former House Speaker Newt Gingrich said killing the dog and then writing about it ended any possibility of her being picked as VP. 
you talk multiple times about it. In fact, at the end of the book, you say the very first thing you would do if you got to the White House that was different from Joe Biden is you'd make sure Joe Biden's dog was nowhere on the grounds. Commander, say hello to Cricket. She's got a real get tough on dogs policy. She's now, I will say, she said, <laughs> as, this is a, like, it, it's just bizarre that you would, that would be your thing that you're going to ride in on. Like, I'm, I don't take any shit from dogs or goats for that matter. But, you know, Kamala Harris did make sure the state of California kept slaves. <laughs> like, yeah. You know, like, on the status of, and, and it is a very disturbing story, but much, much worse people. Are still contenders to be but, vice president. But this president. is crazy, though. That's it. What? That she keeps. She can't help it with the dog killing. What? And here, what, here's her. Okay, good here's her response. Way. Here's okay. her response. Are you doing this to try to to look tough? <laughs> Do you still think that you have a shot at being oh. a VP? Well, number one, Joe Biden's dog has attacked twenty four Secret Service people. So how many people is enough people to be attacked and dangerously oh. hurt before you make a decision on a dog? And well, what he's to not do with living it? at the White that's, House. That's anymore. a question that the president should be held accountable to. You're saying <laughs> why did the president kill his dog? Osama bin Rover that, is out of <laughs> that's a That's a great look for a potential vice president to double tap her own dog while exiting the helicopter. Um. Well, OK, so now I'm, I'm bad dog. Bam, bam. I'm fascinated that like <laughs> the dog thing. She's like, that's being blown way out of proportion. But this was some kind of plat. She wrote this for a purpose that like, don't worry about Joe Biden's dog. So that's why that's why they that lady asked her like, why are you writing this? Are you trying to look tough? First of all, great plastic surgery doesn't look fucking crazy at all. Well, Pete <laughs> secondly, how would you handle this dog? Are you a lizard person that eats dogs? That's my question. She's getting ready to be vice president. That's why she, she got shot. That's what the president should be accountable to. Is what is what is the number? And I would say about Republicans criticizing me. These are the same Republicans that criticized me during COVID. They've criticized me when I've made other decisions For in South Dakota dogs? to protect my ahead. state. And my state today is extremely happy and thriving. We're doing well. We've got thousands of people yep. moving to our state because they love the opportunities that are here in the businesses the that have come their dogs. and how we've gotten to be a state okay. that has one of the lowest unemployment rates in the nation the everybody has an opportunity rate. for higher wages clean yeah. safe dog abortion <laughs> i like this somebody put this out there i'll get you on your little doggy too you know peter also does that i yeah i know there's a whole organization that loves animals it's actually a great they it's also, a great metaphor for your choices in life there's the one that loves animals and they kill dogs <laughs> and then there's whatever the hell she is <laughs> And she kills dogs. But it's distasteful to brag about it. I think they call it, when, when, the, when PETA does it, it's euthanization. I, look, I, I'm going to say it was very bizarre and disturbing. And, you know, Madeleine Albright saying it was worth it starving them kids. Was oh. all, that was very disturbing, too. And it's worse, measurably worse. I, there is something about that that I don't know why. We're like, what the fuck? Why are you telling me that? Why are you there's telling me this? Like, I guess mass murderers of humans, there's like, why don't you pick on a species your own? Species, and, right? Like, and the, the, like, but it's not better. It's just her, her thing of like, I knew I had to put. Then they show the dog, and, and like, then she talks that she says that the construction worker saw her do it, and her uh, kid uh, came uh, home uh, and was. I thought she was going to have to. Where's her Cricket? Whole she tells the story about her daughter. Where's Cricket? Like, why would you tell the story? Have you ever seen of mice and men? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I said, Are we going to? Oh God. That's, All right, that's it. We're gonna do now. We're gonna do a premium streamium. That's yeah, it for today. So it'll take us probably like about ten minutes for me to wrap, and then so I I think we'll be able to get it to everybody in about twelve minutes, ten to twelve minutes <laughs> for your people that will be live streaming with us. So we'll see you sub. Premium. And so if if you don't if you're not gonna come to the premium streaming, we'll see you Sunday at seven p.m. Pacific, ten Eastern, for our uh, live show Rumble Time with Jimmy Dore. Kurt will be there. Jeff Dye will be there. Sam Tripoli will be there. Steph will be there. It's our live video show. Last time, we'll see what happens. We'll see. It was, it was crazy and raucous. Uh, this time, I, I don't expect anything less. Here we're doing stand-up in Ashland, Virginia, Athens, Georgia, Rutherford, New Jersey, Minneapolis, Minnesota, Ontario, California, Irvine, California, Las Vegas, Davenport, Iowa, Chicago, Grand Rapids. Go to JimmyDoor.com for a link for tickets. And make sure you go to JimmyDoor.com and don't go to a second reseller not good